Hi, everybody, and welcome to AARC's Big Ideas Theater. I'm your host, Ed Hyland. Joining me now is a very special guest, Grace Ann Dorney Koppel, and uh, she's president of the COPD Foundation, the only U.S. healthcare nonprofit solely dedicated to preventing and curing chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Thank you so much. Long name, long name for your disease as well, and the numbers just a staggering. I mean, I have the question in front of me and it still staggers me. 30 million with COPD, but only 16 million diagnosed, why? That's a very, very complicated question. It's because people don't tell their doctors when they have symptoms. And the symptoms of COPD are breathlessness, doing things you easily did before. It's inability to walk for example, for even on a flat surface, for a block without stopping to catch your breath, going up a flight of stairs becomes a challenge. And because it hits in middle age, people think, you know what? Uh, I'm getting out of shape. I'm overweight. Um, I'm getting older. But actually, it's the disease catching up with them. And the flip side of that coin is, Doctors don't, they say, Joe, how's your breathing? And Joe says, oh, it's okay. They don't ask, are you having difficulty doing things because of your breathing that you did easily before? And I do have to correct you, Ed. I'm president of the Dorney Koppel Foundation. I've been president since 2009. However, I and past president of the COPD Foundation. I was president until August of this year. All right, well, thank you for correcting me, but as president, you always retain the title, as they say. That's so, correct. All right, well, if we could get a little bit into what you, just expand a little bit on what you mentioned about, is this something that people bring on themselves? Uh, people are often accused of bringing them on itself. 75 to 80 percent of all people who develop COPD are ex-smokers or current smokers. So even if they stopped 30 years ago, if they stopped smoking, even if they smoked only 100 cigarettes, they could develop COPD in their 40s and 50s and 60s. But the the other side of that as well is that we have no explanation other than the air we breathe, secondhand smoke, having a um, genetic form of the disease which is called alpha-1, or working in occupations where there are dust, chemicals, vapors. So 25% of the 16 million diagnosed now have never smoked a cigarette. So we've got to get past the stigma of the disease where you say, I have COPD, and the next question is, did you yes. ever smoke? Or are you a smoker? Because that doesn't matter. Now, I was a smoker. I had stopped 10 years before. I haven't smoked in, in 27 years, but the disease caught up with me and almost killed me. Well, talk a little bit about therapies. Uh, you know, What is the best, perhaps most underused therapy? We have only three therapies. We have inhalers that are called bronchodilators. They open up the airways. We have supplemental oxygen, but only if your resting oxygen blood level is below 88. But the best therapy of all, pulmonary rehab. I'm sure you've heard of cardiac rehab, but pulmonary rehab is the best medicine we have and we don't have enough places, enough hospitals offering it. What are some of the things or is there something that are giving that's giving COPD patients uh, perhaps some new hope? There are many things. I believe the disease, we're, we're beginning to destigmatize it. In May of this year, the NIH came forward with a, a group of stakeholders, patient groups, doctors, researchers, uh, federal agencies, and we all developed, it took two years, a national action plan for COPD. And I am thrilled because it gives us five goals, empower patients, uh, improve care, that's, that's all the doctors and health professionals, gather the data, 
do research, and then put this all into action through legislation. So I have hope. Um, a very famous Chinese philosopher said, hope is like a path in the countryside. At first, there is no path. But when enough people walk in the same direction, then you can see the path. Let's hope it's a mass walk, as I it hope. were. I hope. Grace Ann Dorney Koppel, thank you so much for joining us, the past president of the COPD Foundation. And this is the Big Ideas Theater, sponsored by Drager. Thanks for joining us.